Well, this is a, a very interesting question because we should really see artificial intelligence as a tool um, to help humanity. Um, and we want artificial intelligence to be developed and shaped for the greater global good. So that means to help us achieve the sustainable development goals. Uh, this is something that the UN system is looking very much at. And of course at UNESCO, we're very much focused on developing, and we have developed actually ethical principles um, to guide the development of artificial intelligence. We developed the Ethics of AI recommendation uh, that was adopted by 193 member states. So 193 countries from around the world uh, signed up to this recommendation. And it outlines the principles for making AI ethical, human rights-based, and human-centric approach. So that is really what we're looking at. And this looks at issues around protecting data privacy, making sure that AI is fair and that it's inclusive and that it doesn't perpetuate gender discrimination or racial discrimination, um, as we have seen in, in some algorithms. We really need to see artificial intelligence in terms of how it can be used as a tool to help us um, focus more on higher end learning, since AI can really help us do a lot of automated tasks um, in terms of being able to analyze, for example, large amounts of data, uh, which can be very useful in different fields from research and development, but also in terms of helping teachers develop interesting curricula. Um, but this, the use of, if we're looking at generative AI, for example, we need to make sure that there are the right sort of checks and balances in place. Because uh, generative AI uses data um, that's currently available. So this data may be perpetuating gender stereotypes um, or may have some kind of malicious content. So we may need to make sure that there is no kind of malicious content. And so to do that, um, in these recent guidance that we developed, um, it's guidance on education, um, the use of uh, generative AI in education, we lay out some of the steps that are needed on what teachers can do, because obviously we need to train teachers on how to use new tools, new AI applications, so how it can be used for personalized learning, um, to help children with disabilities, um, learning disabilities, but also physical disabilities um, to make education more accessible. Um, but also looking at those children, here we're in Europe, but looking at those children that might not have access um, to computers or to broadband connectivity. So really trying to focus on some of these issues to make sure that we make education, quality education accessible to all. One of the issues um, with artificial intelligence is this belief in technology. Um, while I think that technology has uh, huge beneficial um, implications for humanity, um, I don't think that it's going to replace humanity, at least in the short term. Uh, there, there's a lot of discussion on this, on whether we can have sentient AI systems, um, which is a, a very interesting discussion. Um, but I, I see artificial intelligence as um, helping us to evolve and become um, perhaps a, a more evolved uh, species and hopefully also taking into consideration sort of planetary consciousness. There's a lot of focus on existential threats of AI, but I think we need to now focus on current um, issues around artificial intelligence and how we can get up to speed with these new technologies and making sure that it's done in a way that those that may come from you know, lower incomes or have uh, a lower education don't um, you know, don't miss out on the opportunities of artificial intelligence. 
um, as we heard from some of the speakers, it shouldn't just be, you know, those that already have a higher education that are able to reap the benefits. Um, so I think this retraining and upskilling is incredibly important. Um,